Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Wilhelm Starton. Tonight we're back with more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, excuse me a moment while I post a notification, and we will get this train a rolling. Be back soon. And we're back. All right. Oda. Chapter eight, budding bodyguard. Officials who are involved with the ongoing investigation. The bombers are believed to have gone into hiding somewhere far from the site of the attack. They crossed the line. Bombing reactor. A large-scale search led by military forces is currently All right, being planned. Side quest over here. Oh. I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. <laughs> Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Yep. Yep, all the way over... Oh, of course. It, oh, so that's a cemetery. Well then. Hmm. Let's collect that as well. Aerith, you're back. Come. Look what we've done with the flowers. Lovely, don't you think? Uh oh. A little bit Great jinx, job. Though. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Hey, Eric. Why don't you talk to your Oh. You're that former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. So I guess we'll be spending tonight's session side questing. Little kids with ah, here we go. Little kids with that way homemade sword. You're that soldier, right? Can I ask you a super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. 
Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back Welcome to in. the house! I know. You're talking about Walmart, aren't you? Now listen to me. You stay <laughs> Oh, here we go. We got another one. Oh, Cloud? Hey there. How goes the patrol? There's a lot more people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Folia's lessons. I gotta get back to the house. Uh, all Did right. you know? Okay. I just chance to go that way but spent a lot of time on this. okay nothing over here I wonder if this is one of Sam's I really like this fully come on but I'm scared of the doggy that's what's called easy mm. Man, oh, here we go feeling a lot better there's the third one hey there how goes the patrol Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Hmm. Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! <sighs> There are going to be two more then. One of them's probably, I think one of them's back this way. Maybe even two. No. Nope. Like okay, it doesn't count. Nope. Well then. Huh. Ah, here we go. A large scale search led <gasps> by military forces you scared me. Being hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Hold on, is that who I... Okay, is that who I think it is? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, that, uh, that voice actress. If it's who I think it is, let's see here. FF7 Remake Additional uh, Voices. Since the kid is technically an extra. But let's see here. Do, 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 do. And uh, find in page. Okay. Okay, it might be it might be Kate Higgins. Let's see here. 
no. Okay, it's either her or Colleen O'Shaughnessy. Oh, well. Well, there's going to be one more. Where have I not reached yet? Oh boy. Okay, now let's go this way and then take the other turn. Back at the leaf house. I'm sorry I forgot about the lesson. I was just so busy with my patrol. Alright. No, okay, no, no, because that would have placed them too close to one of the others. The designers, the, the, uh, the devs would have spread them out a bit further than that, so... There is that last little patroller. Come on. Ugh, that's annoying. Leave house again. Oh, there we go. Finally. Hello, Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. The reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Ms. Foley is looking for you. Oh, man, I completely forgot. I have to get back right now. That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. Okay, yep. It it was probably it was probably Colleen O'Shaughnessy. Okay. The the earlier one, not that one. Get your hands on the hottest That's what's called easy money. I'm scared of the dog. I'm very scared. Not gonna lie, uh, being able to recognize the voice actors is pretty rewarding. It it's just a it's just a good feeling. Thanks to you two, you've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta Upgrade. do something about him. The Toad King. A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. Oh boy. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's got to be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, They'll find out about the hideout, then that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us. Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Oh. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <laughs> yeah, not an option. I'll do it for three gil. Huh? huh? 
I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! <laughs> now that's my kind of bargain. The hideout is the only place that belongs to just us. I don't want to lose it because of some angry Toad King. Come on! Yeah, that's definitely O'Shaughnessy. Really but yeah, Cl Cloud acts like he's this tough, brooding, stoic loner. No, no, he's he underneath it all, he's a softy. All right. to take out the Toad King. First, let's get a look at our gear. Oh, the Evening Builder. Mm. Okay, honestly, Tifa. Like, if, if y'all don't know, uh, for those of you who don't know by now, I I have a thing for for fit women. Especially ones strong enough to bench press me, all of 170 pounds or so. So, mm. absolutely. Also, um, I've said this before, but I really do like how one of the design choices they made in the remake was to. Um, it, it's more that Yang has a lot of Tifa in her. After all, the original Final Fantasy VII came out in the mid-90s. And Ruby, uh, didn't enter full production until the, uh, until the early 2010s. Was never in doubt. Uh, but like I was saying, one uh, one design detail that I uh, that I'm glad they made uh, with with Tifa in the remake, it just makes sense from uh, from a realistic standpoint. But it also uh, it was also one of those things that people people we're gonna complain about for petty reasons but basically they had seemingly reduced her bust size but if you looked closely you'd see that it was because she was wearing a sports bra which just makes sense for a brawler you don't want those things bouncing around and hitting yourself in the face <laughs> so it just makes sense well, this isn't good. Plus, it only further adds to the to the fit uh, the fitness aspect. So, uh, you know. Try to stay behind. That way, I can cover your back. Sorry. All right. That's that. All right. Let's see here. All right, both of those are good now. All right. All right, now let's see here. No, more Nothing to it. Actually, I may even be able to upgrade weapons now. Hmm. Well then. Well, geez. Whoa. Okay. Unlocked, unlocked. Oh.
I've got 10 SP left. Hmm. Each of these ones requires. So let's just go with this one now. And that leaves me with 6 SP. Oh. said wow let's see here hmm maximum mp definitely something she would magic attack power There we go. Did you see the eclipse today? I did. Uh, that which reminds me, um, uh, my sympathies to anybody whose firebending training was disrupted today. Yes, free slot materia. This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. Speaking of Avatar, I found this awesome piece of Ruby X Avatar art. Ooh, well then. <laughs> Honestly, given pedal burst, that actually makes sense. Her, her semblance just fits that, quite frankly, so that's pretty cool. And again, given Weiss's uh, ice-based gaming, that's a good fit. Let me guess. Uh, okay, so um, let me guess. <laughs> Yang's the yeah, Yang's the resident Earthbender in this crossover, or is she a Firebender in this one? Blake is an Earthbender and dressed as a Kyoshi warrior. Makeup and all. Okay, you know what? That tracks. Uh -huh. 
Oh, there we go. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Oh, uh, by the way, did you hear? Um, within about a week, they're going to be shutting down uh, online services for 3DS and Wii U games. And uh, the Super Mario Maker community successfully finished every single custom-made level. Every last one. Like, one of them had, had just been kind of an impossible level for a while. And admittedly, this one was tool-assisted. This last one was tool-assisted, but they got it. And it was about a 26-second run. Like, I don't I don't play Mario Maker, but I still okay, think that that's really cool that, over for now. that they managed to special assignment wrap it everyone. up that down to the wire. Nice. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia, you must know all their secrets. <laughs> oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real Aww. family. In all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. You I are. Know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> Oh, oh no. Well then. Time. Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. Mm. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Well then. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Damn yeah, right it does. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't May I ask how Blake fits That's as a Kyoshi warrior? Well, like I said, that tracks. I mean, <laughs> uh, I remember very clearly how agile the Kyoshi warriors are. Like, Blake would absolutely be a perfect fit. Very good salary. I mean, they might have to mod like they'd probably have to modify the uniform ever so slightly to accommodate the cat ears, but you can see the skies? but again, that's just a small modification. Also, let's see here. Did I? Yep. Oh, oh, check out the the flavor text on this one. <laughs> Nail bat. A crudely reinforced baseball bat designed to beat the living tar out of anything and everything. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so first things first upgrade weapons. Because this thing has no material slots at all. You can save a nail the look of it. Ha! 
There we go. Let's see. Now let's. There. Ooh, that's right. Critical hit, right. Next, I'll uh, bump the crit damage. All right, let's see here. And it's... All right, disorder. Deliver a devastating attack and switch modes in one fluid motion. Provisionally bonus. Strike with attack or strong attack after switching modes. Nice. Um, can I That's gonna be so easy for me to level up. For those of you that have been paying attention to my playstyle. I will deal with that side quest later. Right now, I've got a graveyard to clear the path to. Or rather, uh, to evict some monsters from. So that old man can once again visit his late wife in peace. One of the reasons why I prefer RPGs to, say, first person shooters. Uh, well, well, anyway, FPSs that don't rely too heavily on RPG mechanics anyway is partly the side quests. Not to mention the... the I mean, that's not to say that they don't have side quests in some of them, but for me, the more engaging ones tend to be in uh, RPGs and game. the like. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. Ah. Oh, whoa. No holding back. Ah. Well, again, that combines the elements, and that's why it works so well for me. Ah. Let's do this. Got you. Ow. on Aerith. Boom. Boom. 
This Nailed it. it. Hey, you want to say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. <laughs> I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. Aww. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. <laughs> we paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. The fuck? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. Oh, it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? The fuck? Money. That's I may as well keep working till the day I die. All right, we're gonna give we're gonna give that mini game a shot, and then we'll. Uh, Push critical path. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play whack a box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh, yeah, hmm. I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. Hmm. Oh, boy. Scratch that, we'll, uh, we'll do another side quest in a bit. Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. Hmm. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a special exception just for you. Hmm. All right, prizes. Elixir, Crescent, Moon Charm, a Spectral Cogwheel... And participation prize is a Moogle medal, of course. Hmm. Destroy as many boxes uh, as possible within the time limit. Each box will add to your score, and once the timer reaches zero... Sorry, allergies. Once the timer reaches zero, the game is over. Reach the target score to win. The durability, effects, and score differ with each type of box. No, oh, I didn't read the other. Here we go. Hitting blue boxes rapidly fills your ATB gauge. In whack -a box you can only use the weapon ability of your equipped weapon and the braver ability. Destroying red boxes extends your time. Okay. <laughs> Holding back. Got it. Brace yourself. Let's do this. Let's get this over. No holding back. 
got me. Completely whipped it. Well, Ruby fits air bending not just because of her sentence, but because she can a <laughs> bit of an airhead. Ah, puns. So long. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna push for the grand prize. Wow, Cloud! I've never seen anyone do that before. See? Pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Will do. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Just for temporary. Wanna play some whack a box? Yep. All right. Oh, I didn't even see that one. All right. First things first. Good. Qualified. Good. Brace yourself. Get ready. Let's do this. Boom. Booyah. Only one way to become a whack a box master. Whack, whack, whack. Oh, hey, trophy. Crate Annihilator. And Spectral Cogwheel. Inventory. Gonna make key item. Right? No. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Accessories. There it is. 
a mystic cog capable of converting ethereal energy into power. Hmm. Excuse me, Mo, while I look that up. Because uh, that seems a little too cryptic. Okay, let's see here. FF7 remake spectral cogwheel. Let's see Each here. MMM, so we agree that Blake is agile, right? But would you say she's tiny levels of flexible? Um, not quite. <laughs> Although she's probably close. There it is. Consuming MP fills the limit gauge. Ooh. That's. Oh, that's good. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Reduce the damage taken when they equip that. Yeah, no. We're going to. Yeah, wait, no. All right, let's see here. Let's take a look at everybody's respective. All right, let's see here. Limit, cross slash, healing wind, refocus. Ooh. Fire in the hall, somersault. Yep, putting it on Aerith then. Materia and equipment. Oh yeah. Instead of bracer, no. Okay. Mm, yep. Wait. Hmm. Oh, it's a three slot. Of course, an overall reduction, but. Let's put fire on this one. here. Hmm. Mm. Might as well. And what did I say? Given my play style, <laughs> 80%. And I just got the damn thing. So. Also, let's go to Maki. Let's see what to do. We got 15. Nope. Wait until I've got. Wait until I've got a total of 20, and then. A pleasure as always, Koopa. Hey, Ravu. How are you doing tonight? I heard there's a monkey. 
Oh, isn't this guy the one everyone calls a puppy? The main character dude. Oh, Cloud? Uh, I think that... I think that uh, that nickname's better applied to Zack. Ah. Uh, well, it's either Cloud or Zack. Happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Dane. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag, the one that's always. I think I may head out now. All right. Contrary, Good night, builder. Dear. See you next time. We strive time. to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. Oh, hi, Lego. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifle. <laughs> I guess. Mm. and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums. She delivers written declarations to red gold cat. before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor. I mean, lady. I mean, as far as hats yes, go, it could always be worse. Relations. Very popular down here as a result. Let's not get into, into specifics, please. We don't want to kick that that hornet's nest right now. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. True. Now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Hmm. Which brings me to you. Oh, oh, oh! Hour. That reminds me. I've, I've, uh, I've. Yeah, I might have already told you, Aravu, uh, but uh, it, just in case I haven't, and for those of you watching the VOD in the future, fun fact, um... I finally have a few days off and I'm getting slammed with shit. Oh, oof. Well, that sucks. My sympathies. But, uh... Mm, the guy that exposed the KKK for uh, for their bigotry, the way he went about it is pretty fantastic. Uh, obviously, this was many decades ago, but basically, um, well, the thing is that at the time, you know, most white folks thought, oh, they're just a group that that does uh, that helps out around white neighborhoods. Huh, yeah, helps out around white neighborhoods. But anyway, but basically this guy went undercover. This uh, and and you can look all this up too. But this reporter went undercover to try to expose the KKK and at first nobody would bite. Like uh, 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 like when he tried to when he tried to get the story out None of the major outlets would take it. You know, like none of the newspapers and the like, or even your radio channels, except for one. See, at the time, the Superman radio, the Superman radio show. <laughs> yeah, that, that that just goes to show how popular Superman was even back, even way back when. That that the comic book had its own radio show. But anyway, they were they were they were kind of short on ideas at the time, and so this guy approached them with this news with this news story he had been that, that he had been compiling about the KKK, and so uh, let me just let me just uh, make sure that I've got the title of this thing right because this is pretty wild. Let's see here. There it is. The The story arc was called Clan of the Fiery Cross. <laughs> so, and it was that radio show that kind of drew the general American public's attention to the fact that the KKK was actually not a uh, charitable volunteer organization, but rather the bigots we know them as today. A Superman radio show. That's funny as hell. And the man who will serve up my scoop. 
level, so we're just gonna snooze this next ad break. Yeah! Let's try and, jump. and for those of you that want a more uh, streamlined explanation of that, yeah, uh, Desk of Death Battle. Good that's actually where I first found. That's actually how I first found out about it. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hi, Nia. Kid, 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 kid. He looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a Nia. No. All right. Cover of the whispered word. Well, Not that I it's gave her scritches, secret, so. considering how chatty the Chinra mutts. Uh, of course. I'm looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity or whatever. Or could it Laptops. be you've fallen under the angel's Laptops spell like slow so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Hmm. Fair enough. Everyone's good at heart. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in THE Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how do you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us. What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. <laughs> her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Look out point. Got it. I'll check it out right now. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well... A good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. You know, I can't help but wonder how much do those plates actually weigh? Like, like the actual rough estimate for their weight. Oh, 
I'll say this much, just for the sake of conversation, straight folks like me should at least try to get in the headspace to understand what, uh, to understand why someone would think someone they wouldn't go for is sexy. So for example, I can understand why, uh, uh, why someone would think Cloud's good looking. I get it. Just, he just does nothing for me in that regard. Oh, nice. Did you see how much I took off of it? Wow. <laughs> Boom. Let's do this. And Stripe swings for the bleachers. Is that it? <laughs> Nailed it. Of course. All right. Make sure I got... Yep, I've got the lightning material equipped. I've also got fire. Ice, wind. And let's see. Okay, Shiva and Ifrit. Good. Good. Uh, hold on. All right. Spear. Buzz off. Bang. Let's do this. Gotcha. No holding this back. For you. Ah. One more shot. Let's do this. Calling life. Going in. Nailed it. Okay, then. Guess we should look around. Hmm. Before I grab that and continue the side quest. Yeah, look around. Oh, good. And that one didn't self-destruct. Awesome. Oh. Guardian Angel's calling Guardian card. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. Hmm. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. So in other words, the angel of the slums is a phantom thief. Nice. I can't believe it. You found one of her calling cards. This is the genuine article. I'm sure of it. Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. 
To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel, a warning. If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Huh. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip up Don Corneo! It's about down to Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's pocket. <laughs> can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Uh, you certainly lived up to your reputation. I mean, morally, it depends on the context. Legally, obviously, no, it is still stealing. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pay sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Fair Come enough. on, let's go home. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Nope, screw it. I think I'll stand uh, stay on for a bit more. Actually, I'm going to try to push for the usual, uh, for my preferred two hour length. Which means uh, we've probably got a boss fight up ahead. Reminds me, how much gill do I have now? Huh. Over 6,000. Let's see here. Well, hey there. Let's see here. Mm, yeah, no, I'll wait where that one's concerned. Earrings increases magic power by 5%. There we go. See you soon. Just a customer. They crossed the line volume. Uh, I've heard so many. Words. A Merc, huh? See anything right? Screw it. There we go. Yep, that'll do it. Now let's go see Chadley. Grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Hmm. Synergy. Good. And another. Ease. I'll be back for that one. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Hmm. Second thought. Yeah, if I've got enough, let's buy Aerith that bangle. People are talking about you. You've got one hell of a reputation. Damn. Okay. What can I sell that'll 
Okay, let's see here. Items. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Gets me exactly how much I need. What? Oh, whoops. That was. That could have ended badly. Now let's put that on Got Eric. What you need to stay safe? All right. There we go. Ooh. Allows an ally to follow the leader's attack command with an attack from linked materia. Works with fire, ice, lightning, wind, and poison materia. And let's see here. There we go. Let's see. Since Barrett's the tank, defense and max HP. Overcharge damage, 10% boost. That'll do it. Next is Tifa.
Welcome in. Okay, and I have enough SP for one more. Goody, goody, goody. Now, let's see here. Materia and equipment. Okay. Let's see here. That should do it. Many citizens throughout the city they are also the watching the huh? and Oh boy, here we go. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my he had it coming. dot my eyes, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. One of those Turks jobs, of course. Don't take it personal. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> you and it looks like we have our raid target in a little bit. So. Bite. You're one to talk. Oh! Ow! Jeez! Whoops. Yep. Keep it together. Here goes. This one's for you. That'll do. I'm just so oh, crap. tired. My turn. Uh, what? Let's see. Whoops. All right. Abilities. Assess. I got your number. <laughs> Bundle up. Uh, a little payback for my partner. Come on. All right, arrow. <laughs> oh, got him staggered. <laughs> Oof. Okay, <laughs> so you had enough yet? No. Wonder how many I extra pairs he actually I has. <laughs> ah, I'm okay. Damn, it's my job. Then think about changing careers. 
okay. Ah. Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? I've seen this type before. You don't know me. Ah. Come on. Ah. Jesus. How's that payback working out for you? Feeling chilly? Going in. Boom. 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 Nailed it. Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <laughs> Perfect. Hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job at something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? That's done. Let's see here. There's no bench to rest at, so I'm gonna go back through here then. Hold on, I got AFK for a bit. Be back shortly.
Uh, all right, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. My ma needed me to do her up some tea because uh, her allergies are hitting her pretty hard too. remember a piece of materia being around here at this point in the game, so. Nope, not here. Okay. There it is. Nia, don't sketch that. Uh, Nia, that is not a sketchy. You talking to the... So, yeah. It was that kind of day. Keep mom waiting. Hey, what'd they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But you know. Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me after all. Huh. Jeez. <sighs> Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. Hmm. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Huh. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Damn right. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the huh. flower say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? Huh. <laughs> That's the spirit. And now to collect this. MP up. Nice. Well, if anything. Yep. At this point. Hmm. I will leave it be for now. Hmm. 
Hmm. Nothing there. All right. Yep, we've explored every inch it will let me, I think. Yep, nothing else to see here. You're heading in already? Mm, nah. Not quite yet. Let's see if there's... Yeah, let's do some last minute... Some last minute stuff. That said, All right. from that. Hey. Uh, We're going to be raiding in a moment as soon as as soon as Avery is online. We're gonna. As soon as he's on, we're gonna raid him.
Okay, good, good, good. Okay, the raid banner's not working. Let's see here. Maniac. There we go. Insomniac Avery streaming Return to Grace. But until next time, this is the Wilhelm starting, raiding and signing off. Don't touch that dial.